हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम्स सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग अ मास्टर सेव आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द रिप्लिकेशन लॉजिक इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन व्हाई वी नीड अ रिप्लिकेशन देयर आर मेनली थ्री रीजंस व्हाई वी नीड अ रिप्लिकेशन सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दोस फर्स्ट एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो okay so let's start with a master save replication logic this replication logic is also called a active passive replication this is also called a leader based uh, replication so what happens in this replication is uh, as you can see this diagram so this is the user this is our user when user when user does a request of a uh, user can be of two types uh, mainly a uh, read and write so in write we can consider a delete update and insertion uh, so these three option and read is only for uh, getting fetching or some data or from the data so uh, all the read and write request will go first to the database server which is called a master and master database will replicate all the data changes to their respective replicas so there can be multiple replicas in this diagram you can see there are only two replicas replica 1 and replica 2 so as soon as a user files the request to the master database if it is a write request and if there is some data change then that data change will also get replicated to this replica 1 and replica 2 via replication streams okay so now in this case uh, we have seen one of the reason why we need a replication is a scalability so in this case uh, we are not fully utilizing the uh, the the replication uh, for uh, scale for for increasing the scalability of our application because all the read and write request of the users are first going through the master database so if there will be a increase on the load Uh, if there is a number of query per seconds are increased then only our master database master server is responsible to the serve all the read and write requests so what is the use of this repli replicas so replicas can be used for a highly availability reason okay uh, if this master database is down then uh, this uh, another one of this replica will uh, become a, a master uh, master uh, database and it will start serving the request to the users but if you can observe what we can do here is uh, as only write request what we can do is only write request we will root through the master database so let me change this so only write request will go through the master and if user if the same user wants to uh, read some something then all this request will get root to the replicas so all this read request will directly route to uh, to respective replicas so this is user one let's say there is another user and he wants to read something from the database so his read, read request will go either of this two replicas so if you can observe we have significantly improved uh, the the performance of our system because previously all the requests were going through the master database read and write now only write request will go through the master database and all the read request will directly go to this replica servers so in this uh, with the use of this architecture we have a uh, balance the load on a single database server also this replicas are also called as slaves this replicas are also called as slaves in this diagram i have given only two replicas but remember in practical world there can be a multiple replicas 10 15 20 100s okay now let's say this master database server was down for some reason let's say that machine got shut down or that machine got corrupt then our write request will only affect uh, on our application but the users which are uh, requesting for the read request are still getting served so 
only some part of our application will get affected. So this will not be a single point of failure. So our whole application will not get down. Only the only the users which wants to write to a database, those are getting affected. But how we can improve this? How we can uh, even reduce the downtime of our system? So all our write requests are going through this database server. But what we can do is if this server gets down, one of our replica will replace this master database. So this replica, this layer will become a master database now. As soon as this master database goes down. So in this way, now you can see, even if the master database goes down, our application will not be down for a single second. Right? So in this way, we can so what we have done is we have improved the availability of our system. We have even uh, even increased the scalability of our system. As our replicas are present at different geographical location, let's say this replica is in USA, let's say this replica is in uh, Australia, and let's say there are multiple replicas. And let's say this replica is there in India. So, the user which is uh, there in the US will not get a data from a server or the master or from the Indian in India database server. So, it will get data from the database which resides in the USA. So, network latency is uh, you know drastically improved here. So. So I hope uh, this is pretty much clear to you now. So we have improved uh, so many things here with the use of the master server replication. Now you must have realized what is the importance of uh, the replication logic in our uh, in our distributed systems. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share. Please uh, please please uh, give your comments below this video and please suggest which all uh, topics you would like to hear from me in, in the next video. Thank you.